Dr. Kevin Johnson is a pediatrician at Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. He and his colleagues use an electronic prescribing system for the medications they give patients. And has now been in place for about two and a half years and we're now up to somewhere close to 35,000 prescriptions per month. We have decision support built in, we have drug, drug checking, we also have the ability to do all of the pediatric dosing, and since I'm a pediatrician, I'm really fond of that part. Dr. Johnson not only uses electronic health records for his patients, but he also has one of his own when he's a patient. Doctors at Vanderbilt may get automatic reminders to order certain tests, perform necessary examinations, or consider standardized treatment guidelines when using the electronic health record. He says these built-in features make for more thorough care. By providing the data that I need to make the right decisions, but also distributing those data to anyone else in the healthcare system who sees that patient. Making a switch from pen and paper communication to strictly computer records is not easy. There are some startup costs and adjustments to be made. Jeffrey Claude, an internal medicine specialist in Spokane, Washington, says initially it was a tough transition. Uh, five years ago, if you took a poll, I think maybe half would have voted to junk it and go back to the, to the paper record. It's hard to see the benefit early on because there's so much involved in getting into place, learning it. But now, Dr. Claude is used to the system and enjoys using it with his patients. I don't think anybody would go back to the paper record. Um, I couldn't say that probably five years ago. Probably the largest advantage is nobody has to try to read your handwriting. So from a, from a safety standpoint, it's huge, absolutely enormous. Researchers and physicians say electronic health records have the ability to transform clinical research, making it faster and easier than it is today. In the future, the records may even be able to alert physicians to new studies their patients may qualify for. You can uh, look at information across very large numbers of, of patients. So you might, for example, look at all the patients who've gotten a new drug in a certain care system and see if any of them have had a certain uh, complication. I can look at an x-ray at home. I can see the x-ray in my office. I can get nurses' notes for the patients that are in the hospital in my office. I mean, it's amazing stuff that's being done now. The plan is for electronic health records to help healthcare providers manage all of the information to be generated in the future and bring it to doctors at the point of care. Nowadays, health and disease is a global phenomenon. And we need to do this not only for the wealthy countries, but we need to collaborate so that we're doing this also for those parts of the world that don't have access to this technology. In the meantime, Providers and researchers want people to know their records can be securely accessed from public places, such as libraries, if internet access is a challenge.